Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to start this video with a short story. Last weekend, a friend from my university years um, explained me that he has a QB board 4 that he bought a decade ago and nowadays he's struggling to get a proper mainline U-boot bootloader, uh, Linux kernel and a software stack for a modern Linux distribution uh, working on this board. I have a very similar board. Here I have uh, Mary A. 80 Optimus board. Both this one and the board that my friend has, QB board 4, are working with Owinner A80 system on a chip. These boards are very old. There is no support from the manufacturer, so we are on our own and the community. I decided to step in and to help him build a custom Linux distribution using the Yocto project and open embedded for these boards with Owinner A80. Let me show you how it's done and let's have a look at the Mary A80 uh, Optimus board. I'm keeping this board in the original packaging, so here is a quick unboxing a decade later. Mary A80 Optimus board comes with acrylic enclosure, um, USB to UART cable with a special connector, we'll have a closer look at it in a moment and of course a power supply. Uh, this board is before the age of USB-C, so as you can see it has a specific barrel jack. Owinner A80 is an octa-core ARM CPU. The catch is that it's with the big little architecture, which means that you actually have dual quad-core CPUs. This system on a chip was released in 2014 and it is the second system on a chip from Owinner featuring the PowerVR GPU. I removed the top acrylic enclosure so we can have a better look at the printed circuit board. Mary A80 Optimus board was a pretty decent device for 2014 when it was released on the market. There are a bunch of connectors, most notably an Ethernet, an HDMI and USB connectors. All these Owinner devices are also known in the community as Sunxi. This name originates because Owinner systems on a chip have prefix sun and the suffix i. So, for example, A80 is sun9i. Because different CPUs have different digit, the community is just called Sunxi. In this name, the digit is replaced by x. As you have seen, this board was provided with a special USB to UART cable and there is a dedicated UART connector on the printed circuit board. This is super important for debugging problems with the U-boot bootloader and the Linux kernel. Now let's focus on making our own embedded Linux distribution. For this purpose, we need a build system. The Yocto project is a collaborative project of the Linux Foundation that uses the open embedded build framework with the tool called Bitbake. Furthermore, the Yocto project provides Pocky, a reference distribution, which is very convenient to start prototyping and customizing a distribution for your own needs. In order to use the Yocto project and open embed it for a specific hardware device, you need the so-called board support package layer. And for owner devices like this one, Mary A80 Optimus board, the BSP layer is called Meta Sunxi. However, there was a small problem. At the beginning, when I got my hands on this board with the idea to build an image using the Yocto project for it, it was not supported in MetaSunxi. So this was an opportunity to add support for it and I opened a GitHub pull request which was quickly merged. The process was not as straightforward as I anticipated because there was an U-boot issue which I fixed with a patch through the MetaSunxi layer. Anyway, now Bitbake can build an image that boots on this board from a microSD card. Mary A80 Optimus board has a NAND for built-in storage, however, just like all other Owinner devices, it boots from micro SD card by default if such is present. This is exactly how I booted Core Image Base from micro SD card on this board. Building a custom Linux distribution is a long process, it takes a lot of time and a lot of knowledge. I'm not going to show you the whole process in this video, but I'm going to share with you the exact steps. The Yocto project and Open Embedded has a steep learning curve, so it's hard to uh, get started with it, but once you are uh, familiar with how things work, you can actually relatively easy build a custom Linux distribution based on Pocky. 
The Yocto project has a biannual release cycle, which means that there are two releases per year, one in April and another one in October. On every two years, there is a long-term support release, which is going to be maintained for four years. The latest stable long-term release is CarbGov, and it's going to be maintained until April 2028. In MetaSunxi, I added support for Mary A80 uh, Optimus and QB Board 4 for branch master and the scarpgov branch master is a moving target so by the time when you're watching this video it might be different version so i highly recommend you if you want to repeat the steps that i'm showing here to use scarpgov the long-term release of yocto the first step is to download the source code this is the metadata that the yocto project and open embedded uses to build a linux distribution we are taking pocky Meta Sunxi, Meta Open Embedded, and Meta Arm. All these are different layers that contain different recipes. The second step is to initialize the build environment with a special script. This way, you create an environment in which you can run BitBake and build your own images. The third step is to include all these five layers. The bitbake layers add layer command will automatically add them to confbblayers.conf. If you don't want to use this command, you can also manually edit the file, but this way it's easier. Step number four, using your preferred text editor, open conf slash local.conf and append these two lines to the end of the file. The first line sets the machine to Mary A80 Optimus. This is the name of the machine that I recently added to MetaSynxy for the board that I've showed you. And the second line is to switch to systemd. The last step is to build an image. Pocky, the reference distribution of the Yocto project, comes with several predefined recipes for default images. One of these recipes is core image base. To build it, type in bitbake core image base. Building an image from scratch takes a significant amount of time and disk space. You're supposed to execute this on a powerful personal computer with Intel or AMD CPU and Bitbake will cross-compile the image for the ARM CPU on the Mary A80 Optimus board. Uh, for this, you need at least 50 gigabytes of free disk space. Um, the whole process and the speed depends on your internet connection because a lot of source code will be downloaded. After that, it's going to be compiled. The compilation depends on the hardware technical specifications of your PC. If your PC is not very powerful, the whole process can take up to several hours. However, at the end, if everything is okay, you have an image that you can flash on a micro SD card and boot on the Mary A80 Optimus board. I have already built and flashed the image on a micro SD card, plugged it into the Mary A80 Optimus board. I, I have also connected this board to my laptop using the USB to UR cable that I showed you earlier. The board turns on as soon as I plug the power supply. I'm running Ubuntu 2404 on my laptop and I opened a terminal application and inside the terminal application I run screen with baud rate 115200. This way I can read the data coming from the Mary A80 Optimus board on my laptop. As the name suggests, Core Image Base is a very basic image. It boots to a command line prompt only. It comes with uboot version 24.10 if you're using the master branch and 24.1 if you're using scarpgov following the instructions that I've showed you in the previous uh, part of the video and it has Linux kernel 6.6.28 if you're using master. The image that I'm showing in this part of the video is actually built on master that's why you're seeing this version of the kernel. One more thing, I also ported RAUC, the open source solution for AB software updates on this board but this is another topic. As you have seen in this video, thanks to the efforts of the Linux Synxy community and the Yocto project, it is totally possible to build a custom Linux distribution for an old board like Mary A80 Optimus that was manufactured a decade ago. At the moment, this hardware is dead in the water. There is no software support for it coming neither from the manufacturer nor from Owner, the company making the system on a chip. So you rely on the community. But there is a good community out there 
And if you have this board or QB board 4, please consider building a custom Linux distribution following the steps that I showed you. Please leave a comment below if you have any technical issues or if you just have the hardware and want to share something about it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this type of content, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.